In the introductory case of this chapter, we recall that Akiko would like to buy the right amount of salmon for daily consumption at Little Ginza. Akiko has estimated that the daily consumption of salmon is normally distributed with a mean of 12 pounds and a standard deviation of 3.2 pounds. She wants to answer the following questions. What is the probability that the demand for salmon at Little Ginza is above 20 pounds? This distribution shows the area of interest, which is the area that X is greater than 20. To obtain the probability, we can use the Excel function norm.dist with four arguments, namely the value of X, the mean of the distribution, the standard deviation of the distribution as either true or false. We enter true for the last input since we want Excel to return the cumulative probability that X is less than the stated value of X. Since we want to find the probability that the demand for salmon is above 20, we enter equals 1 minus norm.dist, 20, 12, 3.2, true. Excel returns 0 0.0062. In R, we use the p-norm function with four arguments, the value of x, the population mean, the population standard deviation, and lower dot tail equal to true or false. Since we want to obtain the probability beyond 20, we use this p-norm function with the respective x, mu, sigma, and the last argument set to false. The probability is 0.0062. What is the probability that the demand for salmon at Little Ginza is below 15 pounds? Using the norm.dist Excel function, we substitute 15, 12, 3.2 into x, the mean, and sigma, respectively, and set the cumulative option to true. The last argument tells Excel to obtain the area below 15. The probability is 0 0.8257 or 82.57%. Using our function p-norm, we set the lower dot tail equal to true to obtain the same probability. How much salmon should be bought so that it meets customer demand on 90% of the days? This probability distribution shows the area in green, which represents the area below this unknown value of x being 90%. To find the value of x, in Excel, we use the norm.inv function. This function has three arguments, namely, the cumulative probability, the population mean, and the population standard deviation. Substituting the values 0 0.9, 12, and 3.2, respectively, into the function, we obtain the value of x as 16.1. We say that 16.1 pounds of salmon should be bought so that it meets customer demand on 90% of the days. We use the QNorm function in R to obtain the value of X. This function has the same three arguments, namely the cumulative probability, the population mean, and the population standard deviation. Substituting these values into the function, respectively, we obtain the same value of x as 16.1.